Okay, today in our continuing uh, series of obsolete uh, trap discussions, uh, next on our list is the Warren Webster inch and a quarter 026T new style trap. Um, an example of the old style from the 1920s is in the, uh, the background here. Uh, the main difference is that this one has a half inch plug or half for a vent line to be run to the dry return and the uh, new style has the um, cap on the top which accesses the uh, thermostatic element. Flip around here with our cutaway. We have the um, thermostatic element on the top as I said before with the uh, accessible with through the uh, cap and this is the uh, the float element which is um, the same as in the old style. Uh, you have two inlets one on each side of the trap and two outlets one at the bottom and one out the side and this is a, uh, a clean out here an inch and a quarter clean out to uh, clean out the muck that uh, I don't think uh, anybody has ever done. Um, air comes in here, exits out through this passageway here. Uh, water dribbles out and uh, raises up the float and allows the uh, drainage of water. Uh, and is closed by this uh, poppet valve here. This uh, poppet valve is uh, completely worn um, and uh, consequently this trap allowed steam to pass for uh, many many decades uh, to, uh, with water hammer. Um, rebuilding is uh, on this part here is uh, the usual getting the uh, cap off. This is uh, Nominally inch and three sixteenths, but you might have better luck with uh, twenty nine millimeter. Uh, this comes off um, the uh, element. Then you have to lit you probably have to rip this apart and uh, dig it out. It uh, doesn't want to come out easily most of the time. Uh, sometimes it's fun to check the date codes on these things. Uh, this is from uh, nineteen fifty. Um, uh, I think it was put in just after World War II and then rebuilt about maybe five, uh, eight years later with, um, with the element. The uh, seat can be removed. Uh, it's a fairly shallow uh, brass seat and it comes out uh, with a 7 8 inch socket. Sometimes I found uh, that if you take a socket and, and uh, grind off the, uh, the bevel, that it'll uh, grip this really narrow uh, portion. And the uh, cage unit uh, that they call out in the manual is a, uh, a 3479, 3479. Make sure you clean these surfaces and uh, the little seize on here. This would then go into that hole and then uh, once you've removed the element you can re remove the cap little anises uh, help seed it in. If, um, if you're feeling particularly ambitious or that there is a lot of asbestos that uh, just can't be dealt with uh, and you really need to rebuild this trap then um, uh, you're confronted with five um, three-eighths uh, 16 uh, 3 8 uh, 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 bolts going into blind holes. Um, you might uh, try heating these and, and using penetrating oil and, um, and uh, impact wrench. You might be able to uh, get this uh, cover off in one piece and without these bolts breaking. Any one of these bolts breaking and you're, you're you're pretty much uh, done. Just any close up of the uh, that. 
then you're dealing with the uh, float here. This, uh, you got two nuts, one on, on either side of the float mechanism. Um, the closest English equivalent is uh, five eighths, but uh, this is uh, closer to 15 millimeters. It's a, very odd. And this comes out. Take a. There, the post is left behind. There's usually a lot of sludge and 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 dirt in there. You can see the uh, pop-up mechanism. Uh, the seal, the bearing surfaces. That's all bronze um, construction. Um, I have been able to obtain. A few of these um, OEM old stock, new old stock um, units. Um, they usually show up uh, with a MEPCO, which is the successor company to Warren Webster and uh, Dunham. Uh, this is the gasket, and this is the crush uh, gasket, which would then be installed here and seat this down you have to um, remove this ball and uh, hopefully that it hasn't been smashed by a uh, water hammer and um, although they did make this thing pretty well uh, don't give them that that's one thing about Warren Webster they did not uh, they are not they were they were second to no one as far as uh, quality of their construction that's that's why this stuff lasted for so long but, um, getting this back in through this hole and seated on there is a bit of a challenge I'll tell you that much right now um, got that together I'm gonna set this aside in a second I'll go over what you you'll find in the uh, old style Usually with the old style, this has been connected to the vent, and you have to uh, deal with that half-inch pipe. And then uh, this one's been plugged, so it's standard drip trap. As I said, you've got five holes, uh, uh, 3 8 16, uh, 3 8 16 threads, standard uh, national course. That's what it looks like. And here is the cage element. It's a little larger than the old one. It's held by this odd gasket uh, unit, which is a real pain to get out and a, even, <laughs> even more to get back in. Um, the uh, cage element that uh, this uh, works with is um, listed in a uh, Barnes and Jones um, unit. I'll leave that for the student to find it. If they've gone this far, then that's what uh, that's what you see there. I really lucked out on on getting this apart, and so this one will next. Uh, I'll probably rebuild this and uh, send it off to Barnes and Jones for testing. I have one that I did do that and they were very kind enough to to test it for me and uh, paint it and they actually even uh, put it up on their YouTube um, page on their YouTube channel so I would urge you to um, to look that up to see uh, how they actually uh, test these traps in the in the factory uh, this is a uh, new new old new element uh, for the uh, the uh, new style uh, I have not been able to find any of the uh, elements for the uh, old style but chances are they're probably not going to be good because the um, the fluid the alcohol mixture fluid is probably long since um, evaporated so um, let me know what you think and uh, I'll be happy
happy to answer any questions you have on the uh, Warren Webster 026 trap.